So, a common question that comes up in John Green's vlog TV shows, and I'm sure in like comments to his videos, is what order should you read John Green books? And I've often had this question asked to me via Twitter or whatever, when my friends who haven't read any of his books yet want to know which one they should get started with. And I think it's like an important question. Like, I think everyone has their story about how and in what order they read John Green books. I started off with Paper Towns. I started hearing about John Green and the Vlogbrothers, whatever, in like late January. So I think Paper Towns came out in October of 2008 and I was hearing about them in January of 2009. So Paper Towns is still like a big deal. I read a little bit of it online and I think I read like the epilogue, the prologue online and then I went to the store and bought it and was like reading it there for a little bit. And I think that's when I finished the prologue, or the first chapter or something, and then I read it for the rest of the day, and it was good. Oh, man. That was a good day. That was a Sunday. It was a Sunday in February when I read that. I probably still have the receipt in the book. I'm glad that I started off with it because you get more of the comedic side to John Green. Also, I just remembered this. Um, last night I had a dream. <laughs> Whoa, this is weird. In which I was talking to John Green about Paper Towns, and then he was like, he was like, yeah, like, what's the message of Paper Towns or something? And I said something like, it's about, like, imagining people complexly, like, something like that, or, like, complex individuality or something. I said something stupid. It was a dream. How am I supposed to remember exactly what I said? And then we had a high five. I do remember that. Oh, man. <laughs> That's weird that I thought about that while making this video. Next, I read Looking for Alaska. I had trouble with reading Looking for Alaska because it wasn't as like funny and exciting as Paper Towns was. And so I remember like specifically like um, being like, Ugh, why is Looking for Alaska such a drag when like I'd rather be reading Paper Towns? And then you get to the point of Looking for Alaska, and then you start crying, and then you realize it's one of the best books you've ever read. So for Looking for Alaska, I would say just be patient, because it is a great, great story, and I'm so glad that it was told. I haven't finished Catherine. <laughs> I, I feel like I make a video like every six months about how I haven't finished reading An Abundance of Catherines. But I just can't. What page am I on? I'm only on page 82 or 83. This is my Looking for Alaska receipt. Oh, Cassie has a really good video in which she briefly compares this cover versus the other cover. It's so unfortunate that John Green has like these, like what? There's compilations that John Green has been in. Let It Snow, which I don't have with me, but I do own it. Geektastic. I'm sure there's other ones, but Will Grayson, Will Grayson is a great piece of literature that I cannot stop holding up. It's so great. I, I read this one in a day, too. It's a very fast read. Ugh. One day I'll finish Catherine's. So yeah, you should check out his books. They're great. And that's like the order that I read them in, even though I haven't technically finished Catherine's. But I think it's a good order. I know a lot of people say chronologically, so looking for Alaska, then Catherine's, and then get to Paper Towns. All right, word of the day time. Am I Spongebob now? I think so. Hello, M fans. That was awkward, sorry. So if you guys know me, you know that I am a woman of words. I love to think about them and read them and learn them and speak them and perform them. And I just, I love words. I really do. And I think words are a very serious business, but sometimes you just gotta cut back and like the fun words. So today I bring you piratical. These four salacious syllables mean of or relating to pirates. Not sure if you find that as amusing as I do, but I think that is a freaking fantastic word. I mean, there are so many uses after your football team defeats another one. I mean, plundering them, if you will. It could be like, dude, that, that move you just did, that was piratical. Or your friend gets an eye injury, has to wear a patch, it's a little embarrassing. You can make light of the situation be like, you just look positively piratical. I could go on, but I'll let you do the thinking. Leave us in the comments below some examples of this beautiful word, piratical. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask your audience to do things in the comments, Ryan, but uh, I guess I just did. It's almost as if I boarded the ship that is your channel and ordered your crew, your audience, to do things. That was piratical! Yes! Arr! Word of the day, there she blows. Okay, bye. I crack myself up.